this amen an acceptable time. Amen. Truly, we thank God on today. Another day that the Lord have made. We thank God for that hymn that was just sang. Because we need, we can't stay there on our own. We need Jesus to keep us near the cross. Because it was at the cross where they pierced him in his side. And the blood ran out for the remission of our sin. And that song before the hymn. Oh, I hope we realize how important that song is. When we begin to pray, and I'm not talking about just going through the motion of praying. All right, all right. I'm talking about when we see the condition that our world is in, yeah. and, and when the church began to pray, because prayer is the only way to get through to the Father. And if we want to see some changes down here, You let the church begin to pray from the depths of her heart. In the song that said, if you want to see a breakthrough, when we learn to go down to the Lord and pray and pray right. My brother and my sister, it's praying time. It's, it's praying time. We definitely need to be praying. That's the responsibility of the church we can make a difference in this world. You know, as Pastor Stewart used to say all the time, if the world could, they would do away with the church. But if the church would, and we have the power, well, we could do away with the world. Because the one that got up and established the church when he got up on resurrection morning, uh -huh. he declared that I got all power. Yeah. For heaven and earth is in yeah. my hand. And he made a change when he came. Even with this a sad thing, the world is resort, re, 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 revolving back to just the way it was before he came. Yeah. Turn of God our Father. Of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Father, before I open my mouth on this today, it's my prayer, Lord, that the words that I'm going to speak and the meditation of my heart, that they will be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, yeah. our strength, O oh Lord, our Redeemer. O yeah. oh Lord, we have so much be thankful for in spite of what's going on in this world we still have so much to be thankful for your attention to the 118 numbers of the song. Right. Uh, I had just one scripture written down. I had given it to our media team because they show what we're going to be preaching from. Uh, 118 numbers of song. Uh, I only had verse 24, but I think it's proper that we read include verse 23. All right. Verse 23 says, this is the Lord's doing. Yeah. Yes, yes. It is marvelous in our eyes. And it's 
find the writer saying, this is the day which the Lord had made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, sir. Notice what the writer said. We will. Mm -hmm. Sister Jenkins, I don't care what's going on in this world, but we ought to have that attitude. Mm -hmm. We will yeah. rejoice. And not only will we rejoice, but, <laughs> but we also be glad yes, sir. in it. In yes. what? In rejoicing. Yes, sir. In the name of the Lord. Yeah. Because like that 23rd verse said, I don't care what's going on down here in this world. Yeah. Yeah. It is the Lord's doing. Yes. And we want to use for a subject on today. Thank you, Lord, for one more day. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Yes. For one more day. Not counting tomorrow. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. All right, all right. But if you woke me up this morning, yeah. I thank you, Lord, for this day. And, and the writer here, you know, there are some questions about uh, yeah. the 118 numbers of Psalms. Uh, they don't know if this is David or now. To me, it, it has David markings all over it. All right. Yeah, it's got his marking all over it. And I believe it was David because uh, of who David is. Uh, David has the title of being a king yeah. after God's own heart. Mm -hmm. And when I look at what's going on in this 118 numbers of Psalms. This is what I believe. I believe that King David is now on up in age. And, and I believe that he's taking some time out. Some time to just look back over and keep this in your hearing. The days of his life. The day, the thing that happened to him in his life. I, I believe that he could look all the way back oh, yeah. to the day when he was a young shepherd boy. Yeah. I believe he remember that it happened one day yeah. that alarm, we talked about it, and a barrel. That they came and took a lamb out of his flock. Yeah. And that's found in 1 Samuel 17, chapter yeah. 34 through 35. That David said, uh, yeah. when they come and took a lamb out of his flock, David said, I went out after them uh, and, and smoked them. And I delivered them. Yeah out of the mouth and he said also that I slew both the lamb the lamb and the bear yeah. now David is in his elder days yeah. and now he come to the knowledge that uh, yeah I slew both of them yeah. the lion and the bear but in his elder days, All right. he realized that it was the Lord mm -hmm. that delivered him out of the paws of the lion and the, the bear. Yeah. Not only did he deliver the lamb, but the Lord delivered him. I can see David getting up one morning, just looking back over his life All right. when he woke up on this morning and, and saying in his heart, this was the Lord's doing. All the things that went on back then, because it's not normal for no man to slay a lion and a bear yeah. with his bare hands. 
And I know that, believe in my heart, that this is why he's saying this was the Lord doing. Mm -hmm. And when I think about it, even this day is a day which the Lord has made. And David declared, and I will, not might, I will rejoice and be glad in it. I believe that David looked all the way back to one day that he was sitting with King Saul yeah. on this occasion when he was sitting there with King Saul. Let me bring one in before that one. When he was a young boy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dressed in his armor. And Saul put a helmet on him. And then Saul took and put his war clothes on David, young boy. And when Saul gave David his sword and told David, I want you to go into battle, because he shared with him about being victorious yeah. mm -hmm. over a lion and a bear with his bare hand. Oh, yeah. Saying, I want you to, I'm going to dress you in my armor. Yeah. Because there's a giant, yeah. a big Philistine. All right. All right. And he got a title called, he's the captain yes, sir. of the Philistine army yes, and his name is Goliath right. and now he had dressed this young boy in his clothes uh -huh. and I re believe David remember what happened on that day yeah. when he said King Saul yeah. I could not go to battle dressed in your clothing All right. yes these are your war clothing but, but I just can't go into battle with your clothes on. Yeah. I, I believe they re remember that he took off those clothes. Yeah. And he reached down and took his staff. Yes, and, and he chose five smooth stones yeah. and, and put them in his shepherd bag. See, he remembered who he was. Yeah. The king want to dress me up to be this, yeah. but I'm only a little shepherd boy. Yeah. And this bag that I have, I got it from the Lord. Yeah. And I think I go into battle with this bag and these five Stone. stones, uh -huh. which the Lord gave him. Yeah. And as the giant came near unto David, and, and so that he wasn't nothing but a young boy. Yeah. And, and the big John said unto him, you mean that you come to me with a staff? All right. yeah. <laughs> and David said unto the John, you mean to tell me that you coming to me with a sword? and a spear, and a shield. Yeah. But I want you to know something, Mr. Giant. All right. I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Yes, sir. That's all he needs. And I'm talking about the God of the armies of the Israelites, yeah. whom ye have defiled. And I remember, I believe David remembered back then. Because he said, this day. He's looking at days now. He said, this day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand. 
And we know on that day that David took a stone in his sling and smote the giant. And with this big sword that he had, that his intent was to kill David, David took the giant's sword and cut off his head and claimed victory in the name of the Lord. Now we find David saying, this is the Lord's doing. This is the day which the Lord has made. Yeah. And when I look back over what the Lord has done for me, we will rejoice yeah. All right. All right. and be glad in it. Let me share another event with you. And this is found in 1 Samuel, chapter 18, around verse 10. And it said, and it came to pass uh -huh. on that morning. Yeah. Yeah. David is thinking about some days here. He said, it happened on that particular morning. He said that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul. And as David sit in his presence and playing music with his hands on his instruments, yeah. says Saul had his hand on a javelin. Yeah. And he said, and Saul cast his javelin at David. Yeah. And for anyone that does not know what a javelin, that's a spear. And his intent was to pin David to the wall. In other words, Saul's intention was to kill David. And all of this happened because on one day, he remembered these days, after a victory on the battlefield, and after their return, after the victory, yeah, yeah. that the women, they sang a song. Uh -huh. And in this song, they said, Saul, he killed 1,000. And David, he killed 10,000. And Saul, for this reason, took this javelin yeah. and wanted to pin David to the wall on that day. Yeah. And let me share something with you about Saul. Saul was a marksman. Saul was an expert yeah. in throwing a javelin. Yet he missed David at a close reign on that day. Yeah. And the Bible said that David fled out of Saul's presence. Yeah. And by him flee, fleeing out of Saul's presence, yeah. he was able to see one more day. Yeah. And he, looking back over his days, King David and said, this is a day that the Lord have made. Yeah. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, yes. In his old age, David looked back. He remembered on a day in particular. And on this day, the Lord sent a preacher to his house. And this preacher's name was Nathan. Yeah. All right. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Lord sent him yeah. to David's home. Yeah. 
And Nathan shared a parable with King David. And in this parable, it was about two men that resided in one city. One man was rich, and the other man was poor. And in this parable, the rich man had exceedingly many flocks and herds, while this poor man had only one little ewe lamb. And said this one little lamb that he had, said he raised this one little lamb up with his children. All right. And said this little lamb was to him yeah. and to his children. They fell in love with the little lamb, and the little lamb became as one of the family members. Yeah. And he said, and this rich man took this poor man, one little lamb, said he slew him and dressed him. You have to be a hunter to know what dressing him means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That meant he skinned him and got him prepared for eating. And when Nathan shared this with the king, the king got very angry. Uh -huh. And the king said unto Nathan, as the Lord live it, this man, this man that has done this thing, he shall surely be put to death. And the poor man that this happened to him, he shall be rewarded with four times more sheep than he already had. Yeah. Because this thing, yes, and because he had no pity on the poor man, <laughs> and Nathan, right. hey, sitting there yeah. with King David, yeah. looked at the king, yeah. and said, King, <laughs> Thou art <laughs> this man. Yeah. And we know the story. <laughs> how David yes, fell in love All right. All right. with another man's wife. Yeah. All right. All right. How David yes, had this faithful servant of him who was in charge of his military. Yes, and David knew something about military because he was a military man himself. Yeah, yeah. So he came up with a scheme <laughs> and placed him right. on the battlefield oh, yeah. knowing that he would be killed, yeah. that he might have this man's wife. Yes, yeah. This man's name was Uriah. And we all know about Bathsheba, yeah. the beautiful lady that David just could not take his yeah. eyes off. <laughs> David allowed this to happen to him, my brothers and my sisters. Yeah. Keep in mind, David was a king after God's own heart. Yeah. David looked back over his life and see how the Lord had blessed him. And how the Lord had provided for him. How the Lord had taken care of him. Yeah. But David realized at this point in his life. That this evil act happened to me. Because I took my eyes. Yeah. Off of the Lord. And my brother and my sister. None of us could have nothing to brag. All right. None of us have nothing to boast about. All right. Because we all at certain times take our eyes. 
of the Lord. David remembered after Nathan talked to him of all of the things that the Lord had done for him. And another thing he realized, yes, I'm sitting here on this throne. But he went all the way back to his childhood days and remembered I was a nothing all right. but a poor shepherd boy. And it was the Lord who made me king over the nation of Israel. And then he realized just how merciful for God was. Oh, yeah. Because he said to his own self, this man should be put to death. Yeah. But thank God we serve a merciful God. Yeah. Thank yeah. God we serve a forgiving God. Yeah. Thank God when we make mistakes, if we go to him with a pure heart and ask for forgiveness, yes. Yes. God will forgive the mistakes that we make in life. And we could say the same thing that the David said. This is the Lord's doing. Yes, yes. And I don't care how bad situations get in life. Yes. That we will rejoice. That we will be glad in it. Yes, when we realize about our wrongdoing. Yeah. And if the Lord despite us to wake up and see one more day. All right. Because there's one thing that we do know. That the wages of sin, it is death. It is death. Yes. Yes. My brother, my sister, I don't have a long sermon today. I don't know if you all are aware of what happened this time, last year, all right. in the year of 2020, yes. on the second Sunday in March. Yes. We all was confined to our home because of what was going on in the year of 2020. He's talking about days in our lesson today. It was 360-something days of go back to this time last year in the year of 2020. Yes, yes. My brother, my sister, the whole world experienced a virus like we had never seen yeah. during any of our yeah. lifetime. Yeah. In our country, the United States of America, 365 days ago up until this point, yeah. more than 29 million Americans contracted this coronavirus. More than a half a million Americans died yes, yes. from this coronavirus. Yeah. And the word from the Lord on this morning is to you to preach a sermon on today. All right. One year from this terrible event that happened in America and all over the world. I want you to preach today that we thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, for one more, one more day. Yes. We can thank you, Lord, for what happened over 2,021 years ago. Yes, sir. And with all that's going on and all type of questions that's being asked. Yes. The Christian know one thing for sure. Yes. And it's found in Romans 8 and 28. And it goes something like this. I'm not talking about the world now. Yeah. All right. But I'm talking about the church. Yeah. That if we began to pray, yes. we could get a breakthrough and something can start happening yeah. in this world. We know. I said that we know yes. that all things yes. work together for good. Yes. Make sure you catch it to them yes. that love God. Yes. 
Do you love God today? Yes. And with all that went on, yes. you can still come together to praise God. Yes. He said, I will. Yes. I will. Yes. I will rejoice and be glad. Yes. Something happened about two weeks ago. Well, Somebody might still have leaks in their home. Yes. Ceiling might be open. Yes. Your water line still might not be fixed. Yes. But on this day, yes. I will rejoice. Yes. And I will praise yes. the Lord. Why? Because we know yes. that all things yes. work together yes. for good yes. to those that love God. And there's something else that we know. Well, to them yeah, yeah. who are called yeah. according yeah. to his purpose yeah. in the midst well, of the virus, yeah. in the midst yeah. of the freeze. Yeah. My God, yeah. my God, yeah. my God, yeah. he will. Yeah. And he did. Yeah. Take care yeah. of me. Yeah. And for that reason, yeah. I will, will. I will, will. I will. will praise the Lord. Yeah. And I will yeah. be glad yeah. to praise Him yeah. because 2,021 yeah. years ago, yeah. something happened. Well. One day, yeah. that day yeah. was on a Friday, yeah. and God's son yeah. was hanging yeah. out yonder well. on a cross. Yeah. Some came by yeah. and says, this, he saved others. Yeah. Come down off the cross yeah. and save yourself, yeah. and we believe that you are God's son. But I thank God that he refused to come down off that old rugged cross. He had saved others. Thank God that he saved others. And something happened about the ninth hour on that day. He died. God. He died. God. Yes, he died. God. But he died yeah. that you. Yeah. He died yeah. that I might yeah. have a right yeah. to the tree of life. Yeah. But something happened well. three days yeah. later. Yeah. It was early. Yeah. Early. Yeah. On the third day morning, thank God, he got up, got up with all power in his hands. Many died, many died in 2020. But if you was right with God's son, to die is a game to be after. From the body, you to be present with the Lord. All things, all things, all things work for good for those that love God, for those that are obedient to God. Those things happen in the past. Yeah. For my brothers and sisters, yeah. we can still. Yeah. Rejoice. Yeah. We can still yeah. be glad yeah. because we have something yeah. to be thankful for. Yeah. He died. Yeah. He died yeah. for all of us. Yeah. Sin yeah. is causing all of these things. Yeah. But he died. Yeah. Never sin. He died yeah. for the human race. God up. God up, showing us he was victorious over death, victorious 
over the grave. That's something we can rejoice about. But we got something else that we can rejoice about. What is it? Brother Pastor, that we can rejoice about. There's one more day. One more day. Speak of Numa. I'm waiting on one more day. When Christ is going to step out on the cloud, blow a trumpet, and the dead, the dead, the dead in Christ. Thank you. 